Hey, thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I am Oyi Adikune. The country's national flags are currently flying at half mast in all public buildings, facilities, and official residences across the country in honor of the 11 military personnel, including the country's chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, who lost their lives in a plane crash last week, Friday. President Mohamed Buhari, in a statement issued by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, said the directive is effective from Monday to Wednesday. The the president also approved Monday as a work-free day for members of the Nigerian Armed Forces. The remains of the late Atayiru and 10 other officers have since been laid to rest at the National Military Cemetery in Abuja. And barely a week after the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC State Headquarters in Enugu was attacked with vehicles and other valuables burnt, hoodlums have again raised the Igboeze South Local Government Area Office of the Commission in the state. The hoodlums were reportedly arrived at the INEC office located in Ibiagua, Aka, at about 10.45 p.m. on Sunday night and set the office on fire. Eyewitnesses said the assailants succeeded in burning one of the rooms in the office before the arrival of the state fire service who battled to put the fire off. And residents of Guaraku community in Tafa local government area of Niger State have blocked the Apuja Kaduna Highway to protest the incessant cases of kidnapping in the community. The protesters burnt tires and halted vehicular movement on the highway. And this comes after heavily armed bandits reportedly invaded the town and the immediate villages around 7.30 a.m. on Monday, which is today, kidnapping at least 12 villagers. The protesting youths, mostly from villages, adjoining the highway are demanding that the state and federal government boost security in the area and end the incessant attacks. And Japan has opened mass vaccination centers in Tokyo, Osaka and other cities that is racist to inoculate most of its elderly population before the start of the Olympic Games in July. The centers which opened on Monday will vaccinate thousands of people every day, giving a boost to Japan's sluggish vaccination drive. According to authorities, the Tokyo facility staffed by military doctors and nurses will operate 12 hours a day to dispense shots to 10,000 people daily for the next three months. The site in Osaka, which is Japan's western metropolis, will build up to about 5,000 shots a day. The Nigeria's trade sector contracted by 2.43% in real terms in the first quarter of 2021. According to the recently published GDP report by the National Bureau of Statistics, this recorded growth rate represents 0.39% points higher than the 2.82% contraction recorded in the, in the corresponding period of 2020 and 0.77 points higher than minus 3.2% recorded in the previous quarter, which is the fourth quarter of 2020. Quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth stood at minus 13.10%, which is higher than the quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth recorded in the first quarter of 2020, which stood at 13.79%. Members of Mali's prison service are set to launch a 10-day strike action this week. And the aim of the protest is to put pressure on the country's transitional authority to implement a memorandum of understanding signed in December 2020. Members of the country's main trade union, the National Union of Malian Workers, also began a nationwide strike last week to demand better pay. Several other strike notices have also been issued and the oppo opposition movement that galvanized the protests that led to the ouster of former President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita also intends to resume demonstrations in June. Real Madrid captain Sergio Ramos has been left out of Spain's final squad for Euro 2020. Spain boss Luis Enrique revealed his 24-man panel for this summer's tournament on May 24th, with Ramos missing out uh, with Ramos missing out after a disappointing campaign at Real. However, Manchester City's Amerik Laporte was included after switching allegiance from France. Barcelona Sergio Busquets has been named captain in Ramos's absence. Enrique explained his decision to omit Ramos from his plans after the squad announcement, saying he has not been able to compete this season and has not been able to train with the group. Well, that's the latest update on the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I am Oyin Adekunle.